Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks Gargoyle, the Castle Fairy figure. Uh, here she is in the package. As you can see, she's a carded figure, but it's not a blister card. It actually uh, is in collector-friendly packaging because of these plastic uh, flaps here. You can actually take, take the figure out without damaging anything. Um... Here's the front of the box. In case you were curious about what HAX stands for, it's Highly Articulated Character Kit System. It says so right there. Um, very good original artwork. Uh, showing off the character on the front of the card. She's a gargoyle. That's her profession. Castle Fairy. She's an adult collectible. Here's the bubble. So you can have a look at the figure in the vast majority, if not all of the accessories found within and let's flip it over and we're gonna see that she has a file card as I always point out in my in my reviews I love the file cards I was a huge G.I. Joe fan as a kid I still am a G.I. Joe fan now the fact that it comes with a file card just makes me happy it just all is right in the world because there's a file card here um, it's roughly about the same size as a G.I. Joe file card as you can see if you would like to read it Feel free to pause the video and do so now. Again, love the fact that there's a file card. I love the fact that they take the time to write them and uh, flesh out the characters and give them more depth and more backstory to really make them um, a lot more three-dimensional instead of just any random toys. Uh, here are some other figures available from uh, Boss Fight Studios' Vitruvian Hacks line. This is Series 2. Series 2 is devoted to uh, um, the fantasy-type themes, so all of these characters are, are fantasy-themed. I do have most of these. I think I'm missing these two, but uh, I do have the vast majority of these, and I will be reviewing them in due time. Uh, just keep an eye out on my page on my uh my youtube channel if the views aren't up yet they will be in the future so just keep an eye out um here's a qr code to enable you to download their their app so that you can purchase the figures directly from them if you wish to use it feel free to do so now i don't know if you can use it with that flap in the way though maybe i'll uh i think i'll put that in front of the camera after i slide the card out there you go. All right. And to remove the figure, I just folded the flap down, started to slide the card, and now I have access to the figure's tray. Now let's have a look at the figure itself now. Uh, this is the first time I've actually taken this figure out, so this is going to be my first experience with this character as well. As usual, we're going to have a look at... The accessories first. We're going to start off with the 800-pound uh, gorilla in the room for wings. Uh, these are just like the wings that came with Elagor and Gamori, uh, the demon figure I reviewed. Um, same exact sculpt. Very nice sculpted detail on these. Um, it does not appear as though this one, however, has any painted uh, details on it. Um, it just seems to be one solid color. Uh, there is a uh, an articulated joint down here. So you can bend the wings in and out once they're on the figure. And of course, a peg. You can swivel them back and forth. Uh, I will demonstrate these on the figure itself once I get the figure out of the package. We'll see how well they fit. I did run into problems with wings in the past, so I will be checking that out thoroughly. Um, here's a bag. The bag contains just her figure stand. <laughs> I'm not even going to open the bag up then. Um, so basically her figure stand is in the shape of the Boss Fight Studio logo. It has two foot pegs. Um, it works remarkably well. The figure's feet fit on there perfectly fine. And that's all there really is to say about the figure stand. Um, I'm always happy to see them. 
but it's not really that exciting to review. Let's be honest. All right, she looks like she has a club. It's the first time I've seen this, and it looks pretty cool. I like it. This appears to be a unique accessory for her. I like both the molded and molded details and the paint, uh, the uh, the wraps that were picked out in paint. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. All right. Move that plastic tray out of the way. Let's have a look at her little gargoyle buddy. This is just a piece of molded plastic. Doesn't appear to have any articulation at all. Um, very cool accessory. This is this would actually look good up on your up on your uh, castle wall, just as is. I like this. Very cool. Um, she has another weapon here. And come on out. There we go. Which has some transparent plastic bits. Both red and blue. That's very neat. It's like a crystal axe. Very cool. I like it. All right, let's get the figure out and compare the head sculpt with the one that I have as an alternate. This is a female character, but it, this particular head sculpt looks more male to me. Still very cool. Looks pretty good. All right. Here's the figure itself. Pretty pretty basic. Um, there is a slight uh, there's a slight shade difference in in a in plastic throughout. So she does have some type of paint application to make her look like concrete, I suppose, or stone. Um, more like a, a wash, like a dark black wash, maybe. More like a dry brush, I'm not sure. But it's definitely, uh, it's not one tone. It definitely uh, changes and that's nice. She's just not just flap gray, which is very cool. All right. Now these wings, like I said in, in earlier in the in the uh, video, I've had problems with winged figures too before. Um, these seem pretty solid in there. I do like the fact that they that they collapse around the figure. That's kind of nice. If you wanted to have her hanging upside down or something like a bat. Swap the head out for like a bat. That'd be cool. She does have unique feet. Three-toed feet or two-toed feet with a exaggerated heel. Unique hands too, now that I look at it. Uh, Three-fingered hands. That's very cool. I didn't realize that before. And do they have hinges? Yes, they have hinges up and down on that one. How about this side? Yep, up and down on that side too. All right, cool. Let's swap out her wings and see if, uh, if I have any trouble with her wings like I did with the other figure. Oh, that's the wrong wrong shoulder <laughs> they fit in easy enough oh that that one's very loose <clears throat> fit in easy enough don't like how loose that one is though that one too I guess the weight of the wings are, are pulling them down 
I'm gonna have to get some uh, clear nail polish on them or something to help them work, but they stay in there pretty securely. They're not falling out, so that's a good thing. All right, pop them back off. Get the other ones back on, make sure these go on easy. All right, I heard the click. That's in there. And this one. All right, that's in there too. All right, good. I'm glad to see that I didn't have any issues with the wings on this figure because I, like I've mentioned, I did have issues on a on another winged figure, which I've already reviewed. So I'm happy to see it's not as common spread as I was starting to believe. Uh, okay, let's get them out of the way. As you saw, they can spin and they can angle out. They have a hinge. So that's the extent of the articulation on the wings themselves. Her, uh, her head is on a barbell joint. So it not just can spin 360 degrees, it, it can rock side to side, it can look down, it can look up, and she actually has like a little bit of a slouching pose, I guess you could say, because of the barbell joint. So very good range of motion on her head and neck, get a lot of emotion out of that. Her shoulders um, will be hindered by the wings, but they could normally do a 360 if you had the wings out of the way. Um, they can go down flat against her body. They can go up very far. She's a very slender figure. Um, there's nothing at the bicep. Her elbows can bend a full 90 degrees, actually more so. And they can bend down almost 90 degrees. So not too bad. Uh, they can also swivel at the elbow. Um, her wrists do a full 360 degrees. And as I showed off earlier, they can bend up and down. She does not have any uh, alternate hands though, so that's it for the wrists. Um, her ab crunch is a ball joint, which enables for a good range of motion if you don't rip her in half. <laughs> but <laughs> makes for a good range of motion up there. Um, you can get a, a lot of a lot of personality out of her poses with that. Um, as part of her construction, she does have a separate um, waist from her ab crunch, which you can spin for added articulation. It's just very stiff because, like I said, it is part of her construction. Um, her legs can do the splits about that far. She can do the can-can about like that. She has double-jointed knees, enabling her to get her heel back very far. Nothing at the upper thigh. Um, her ankles are on a rocker joint, so they rock back and forth. And they also hinge back and forward. Decent articulation on her. She is hindered by her wings a little bit. Um, I am a little bummed out that we only have one set of hands because that's one of the uh, one of the things I always applaud Boss Fight for is the added articulation in the extra set of hands. Um, she can hold that weapon pretty well. I'm willing to bet that she can hold this one equally as well. She can, although you're going to want to be careful. Her fingers are actually, because there's only three of them, eh. They're not as secure as regular hands, so you're going to want to be careful with that. And that is a heavy mace. But she looks pretty menacing. Let's get her uh let's get her other head on. See how that looks. There we are. This is like the moody face. That looks pretty cool too. All right. And now that it's actually on the figure, it looks it looks slender enough to be female. I will give it credit. All right. Very cool figure. Uh it seems kind of bare bones at first, but 
you got a lot you got a lot of options you got some cool unique accessories I, I like the fact that the wings work properly and uh she's got plenty of expression and uh very cool let's do a size comparison to wrap this up here she is next to a modern gi joe figure uh, as you can see, she's about four inches tall, so she fits right in with the modern scale of 118th. Here she is next to a vintage Joe figure, and according to, with the perspective, it almost looks like she was the same height, but she's not. Uh, she is taller than the classic Joe by a little bit, but close enough that you could fit her in there with the standard three and three quarter inch figure, too. Um... All in all, I'm pretty impressed. I like the fact that she has unique uh, hands and feet. I like the fact that the wings on this one work. I'm a little disappointed that these are a little too heavy to hold a pose on their own. But uh, I'm willing to look past that. It's relatively easy fix, like I said, with uh, a little bit of uh, clear nail polish on the peg. And... Uh, I'm happy. A very good figure. Uh, if you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.